Copenhagen, what a water flavor. Copenhagen, you can see it in my smile. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel. If I look a little greasy and sweaty, it's because I'm at war. I just fucking laid enough mouse and rat traps in my studio to fill up a fucking apartment building, I think. So, if that doesn't help my mouse problem or rat problem or whatever the fuck it is, it's flamethrower time, boy. But anyhow, uh, yeah, dipping on this Copenhagen stuff. I cannot tell you how good this tastes, man. I've had... Now, I've done a couple vlogs over the last couple of days, and I, I, I tell you, I have been, to do those vlogs, I had to put on my best game face, because I have been so sick. I haven't been this sick in years, like, like three years, I think, uh, since I had a flu that bad, but uh, I feel a lot better today, but uh, I was down to, down to, Oh, fuck my roommate's, my roommate's cat. Um, I was down to dipping like one or two pinches a day. And, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, I was down to having like a dip in the morning. I did a dip with my vlog and I think I had a snooze like right before I went to bed for like, the last few days. So I haven't been dipping much at all. And I certainly haven't been dipping on the Copenhagen snuff. And man, does it taste good. I just got to gotta throw that out there. But um, uh, once again, thanks to my new subscribers. Uh, very much appreciate it. Um, I hope you dig the channel. I'm going to, I'm going to show you some stuff uh, that I've, I've done here. Um, I've done other vlogs on these things before, but, uh, they're old and buried, buried in my, oh man, this thing's dusty, buried in my library somewhere. But, um, for years and years, I've built cigar box guitars. Uh, cigar box guitars, basically when you take a cigar box, knock a couple holes in it, stick a stick in it, run a guitar string or two through it, and blammo, you're set. And I used to make, when I was married, my, uh, my ex-wife had an amazing array of tools and a workbench and a workshop. And I had access to all that. So I used to be able to build really nice instruments. And I used to, I used to sell them and, uh, or auction them off. And, uh, like this, this tattoo. Now, this is a tattoo I've mentioned before. If you can see the detail there on that Marine Band harmonica, that's what that is. But I traded that for a for a Scarbox guitar I built <coughs> with one of the nicer tattoo parlors in town, so they can hang it up on their wall. So, um, but yeah, I want to show you a couple instruments I built. Uh, this first one is uh, what they refer to as a as a diddly bow, um, and basically the way a diddly bow was first made was they used to take a couple coke bottles and a piece of bailing wire and kind of nail it up to the side of the house jam the bottles in so it was tight and then you take a slide and you can just go boing 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 and play it like a slide you know brilliant brilliant instrument you know and um but to make that you know to take that off the wall and put it in your hands um it ends up looking something like this now this is a little one i call this a, a piccolo diddly bow um, it's just a little, little wee thing. I built a resonator out of an Altoid can. Uh, I like to use these, these brass bits of fitting for, uh, the hardware. But, um, but yeah, basically, let's see the easiest way to do this. You just, you play it with a slide. And, uh, I like to use Hillary's shoehorn slide with this. Um...
You may be rich, you may be poor, you may be knocking on heaven's door, but when the Lord comes looking, you gotta move. Yeah, you see what I mean? You can have this actually you can get a lot more out of it than you would think. You know? Now this next one was the other one I like to use. Um this one I built now this is a food bank crucifix. It just ended up I didn't put it on there, it just kind of fell there from my I just thought it looked cool, so I left it. This is a three string job. Um now, I built this um, a, a few years ago. I had a girlfriend, and she dumped me. Uh, she dumped me, basically, it was basically the equivalent of, she dumped me for a, for a Tinder date, <laughs> if that makes sense. I was, I was very much in love with this woman at the time, and it broke my heart. So, on that day, I took all that negative energy and I tried to build the saddest, most sounding instrument I could possibly build. So I built this. And uh, it's a three string job. It's barely, it, it just like, you gotta tune it with pliers. All these, all these tuning things are free floating. It's like, you're lucky if you can get it in tune kind of thing. That, that key, this, this, this key here that I use for the, the nut, um, that's the key to the old apartment that the two of us had. Um, everything on here is rel is relevant to something to do with, with that situation. Uh, inside of it is a, is a, a, a tarot card, um, denoting stability in the home. But, uh, anyhow, yeah, it's a little, it's a little bigger. You can do a little bit more. I don't know if I got it in tune, but... This one kind of, kind of sounds like shit right now. I need to really fix it up. But um, a good lot. Now, the I just released a record on Merkwood Recordings, but um, that got released on this cassette uh, called Methane Blues. And my new album is the second side of this tape. But the first side of this tape is a is an old uh, is a it's an album I did called at, at midnight called the Doctor. And it's basically a collection of old 1920s and 30s blues songs. And I did a lot of that album on that instrument. Um, when it was in more fighting form. Uh, I played a lot of that album on, on that instrument. So, so yeah. Just kind of wanted to show those off. Scarbox guitars. They're really cool. Because the thing about building your own instruments... Is there's no rules. You can build them however you want. A lot of people build these things. Like mine are really primitive now. Now that I don't have any tools to work with. Um, but you can build them very high end. And people do build very high end cigar box guitars. That sell as much, for as much as real guitars cost. You know, um, My good friend Bone Daddy plays... Uh, plays a couple really, really nice cigar box guitars, electric, electric cigar box guitars. I don't know the story behind them, but I know that they're very beautiful instruments and he gets an amazing sound out of them. So yeah, they're for real down home country blues. You cannot beat a good cigar box guitar or even a crappy cigar box guitar. Um, they're cool. And yeah, speaking of all that recording stuff, um, 
I got a letter from Kurt. Now, my new album got released on for digital download uh, just on the 15th, like two days ago, or a day, a day and a half ago, even. And uh, he, uh, he told, what did he tell me? He told me it made, I think it made, I think it, I don't know. It did really well its first day. It did really well. He said it, it made more money um, through people paying for downloads of it than anything on Markwood has made in in quite some time. So I'm pretty I'm pretty honored. And he as he was writing that me that note, he told me he was he had just shipped off uh, a couple cassettes to people who wanted them. So, if you if you've downloaded the album and you paid for it or anything, if you've just even listened to it, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Um, it really means the world to me. You know, um, I you know music music is all relative. People like it or they don't. You know, um, but if 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 you listen to what I do and you like it, I'm very very grateful, and I thank you very much because. Uh, that's kind of it's kind of what I do, you know. Make a lot of noise, <laughs> make a lot of noise, and wage war against mice. But um, yeah, all right. Well, check out No Bluff Buff, Louisiana Man Thirty Eight, Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, Will Winnington Outdoors. Uh, I want to shout out my dear friend Hillary Thompson. Check out Oak Tree Dipper. I guess Oak Tree Dipper does like live streams. Um, I'm not really, I don't, I think I've tried to do one live stream on my channel and I wasn't really into it. Um, and he, I woke up from a nap yesterday, responded to a bunch of comments on my, on, on my video yesterday and thank you very much for all your comments um and then my phone made me dizzy and i had to puke <laughs> and i was in all kinds of trouble and but during that time uh oak tree dipper told me he had been he was going to go live on his channel and i should check it out and i missed it so oak tree dipper i'm really sorry man uh, mm. but yeah if i don't I don't know what people do if people do live streams a lot, but um, give me fair fair warning, and I'll do my best to show up. And uh, yeah, Ben Case, thanks, buddy. You're the one who clued me to the the rat poison. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, thank you all so very much, and have a great day, be well, and always stay free.